Jay Gable alongside Matt Lanier. And we have a regular season finale against two AAC foes, Temple in fifth and USF in 11th. And Temple is going to try to beat USF because they lost against them last time, 52-49. Matt, what does USF have to do in order to try to sweep the against the Owls? Well, they're going to need Caleb Murphy to step up big time for USF. He currently sits in the top four at 11.4 points per game. He's also their best passer, currently at 3.2 assists per game. So he's going to have, to have a big day today. He currently has a career high of 19 points for Auburn. We might see a similar performance for him today. Well, we'll see if Caleb Murphy and the Bulls are able to take down the Owls later in the show. Green, 81% shooter, makes his second. We have Ty Strickland bringing the ball up for the Owls. Strickland had the nice bucket before the break, so see what he can contribute moving forward. He's trying to work on Caleb Murphy right now. Get the screen from Forrester. Zach Hicks to the corner. Jaleel White. Strickland up at the top of the key. Get the screen from Forrester. He kicks it to Jaleel White. Has to put a shot up, and he gets a foul call. Foul on Sam Hines Jr. And Hines looking a little confused as to how the ref can call that. That's his second foul. And that will send Jaleel White to the line for two. And that will make it four fouls so far for USF only five minutes in. They have almost as many fouls as they have minutes played in the second half. And they had seven in the second in the first half. So White knocking that first one down. He's three for three from the line today. He's a 51% free throw shooter on the season, so he's having a good day from the line. And he makes that second one, extending the lead to 15. We have USF with the ball. Green to Murphy. Murphy, cross court pass. And now in the corner, Murphy gets it right back. They're trying to give him the ball a lot. Green has it working on Damian Dunn. He drives middle. He's met by Jake Forrester. And his shot is denied as Damian Dunn pushes in transition. Zach Hicks, ooh, oh. wanted to take that three, but as pass stolen. Green pushing for the Bulls. Green, wild layup, can't get it to go. Hicks ends up with it. Ty Strickland pushing for the Owls. Alley-oop attempt. White can't get it to go. Wild couple of sequences for both teams. Murphy with the ball for USF. And another turnover. Sloppy play from both sides. Strickland slowing things down for the Owls. And Javon Green, he had the big steal just a few moments ago. Couldn't connect on the bucket there. And then Temple had a chance for an alley-oop and they messed it up. So a bit of blunders for both teams so far. Damian Dunn ends up with it. And he's trying to take advantage of the mismatch inside, but can't as another turnover. Here's Chaplin. Excuse me, Hines. Hines, Euro can't get it to go. And we have a foul offensive rebound from Chua on the putback. Foul is going to be on Jake Forrester. That's his second of the game. That's something to watch out for. The foul is continuing to be a problem for both teams. The te both teams have shot a combined, of each combined have shot 28 free throws so far this game. The difference is Temple has shot 15 of 17 from the line. Meanwhile, USF only five, now six of 12 from the line. And ironically, a guy that's not really particularly well at free throw shooting has been one of their more productive guys at the line tonight. Russell Tachua, two or three from the free throw line so far. Let's see if he can make that three or four. As he gets it to go, he will. Cutting that lead down to 13. USF going to have to get on a run here if they want to get back in this ball game. Yeah. Jordan with it with the Owls. If the sloppy play continues for the Owls. I wouldn't be surprised if Aaron McKee is going to call another timeout here just to talk some stuff over. Jordan tried to put a whole lot of moves on Boggs, but wasn't able to as the ball got stripped out of bounds. We'll stay with Temple, however. 
And good defense there by USF. Just could not haul the rebound in there. And as you can see right here, ball hits the camera. Oh, add that to the blooper reel for ESPN. Why don't you? Well, hopefully the camera's okay, but we got a game to play. And Dame Dunn, he has a game to play as he just makes the defender look silly there. Getting this 20 point of the day. And that and might be coming back. If no, I get the ref's call correctly, I think there's a foul after the play, loose ball foul, trying to, excuse me, box out for the rebound. And uh, as the court gets cleaned up there. And the replay right here, Damian Dunn, hugely contested free, fr uh, contested jumper. Javon Green trying to do everything he can to slow him down. Speaking of Javon Green, he gets it into Shua. Shua doubled, gets it back to Green. He puts up a three. Can't get it, however. Jordan gets it to Ty Strickland. And he's taking his time. Gets a screen from Jake Forrester. Drives in. Has Jaleel White in the corner for three, and that's good. Jaleel White with, for three. Temple currently 16 of 16 from downtown. USF still has not scored a three, and the Bulls want to talk it over. 0 for 9 from them downtown. Brian Gregory sure has seen enough for right now. Temple leading 53 to 35. Julio White making that last three. He has nine points in this one. But with that, we are going to send it over to commercial. And we will be back for more Temple and University of South Florida basketball. <laughs> 